Okay, so today we are going to make one of my favorite things to pop up the flavor of so many things, whether you're cooking chicken or tacos or whatever. We are gonna make a grilled pineapple poblano salsa. Super simple to make, but loads of flavor. You just take a large pineapple, starting out the very top, take these off, fall along the outer edge of the pineapple, and just keep rotating that pineapple. You're gonna take off the bottom, and then you're left with a pineapple that still has the core in it. We wanna get rid of that core. Run your knife straight down. So you've got one really big chunk. Turn it around. Take off that other big chunk. And literally, you're just cutting the core right out. So you're gonna take these pieces of pineapple to the grill. But we're gonna prep a couple other ingredients first. I am gonna do some grilling of poblano. Cut it down the middle. And then using your fingers, you wanna take out the core and tap out any seeds that are in there. So the last component of this grilled uh, pineapple poblano salsa is actually some grilled sweet onions. Um, I've just taken a large sweet onion, cut it in half, cleaned it up a bit, and then put it on a metal skewer. The reason is it doesn't fall off when you're grilling it. I hate losing most of my onion in the grill. It really annoys me. So we're at the grill and we are starting to get the components together for our grilled pineapple poblano salsa. First thing to go on the grill is the onions. Why? Because they're the hardest item there is. So put those on, cut side down, and you can hear it's starting to sizzle a little bit um, along the side here. Now this is on pretty hot heat. This is about a 500 degree grill. Second thing, see these beautiful big chunks of pineapple? Little bit of sizzle going on there. And then the last thing is, you really want these uh, poblanos to go skin side down first. What'll happen is that they're gonna start to blister a bit on the outside and get soft and juicy and delicious. So we're gonna close the grill, come back in about five to 10 minutes. So we're gonna just kind of come out and uh, give these a flip over. Oh, see, we want that beautiful char marks. Oh, starting to get a little softer now, which is good, a little more tender. We're gonna flip over our poblanos. And there's the blistering I was talking about. We actually want it to blister because we're gonna pop that skin off and it's gonna be, oh, it's a lot softer already. And the challenging one here is to turn this onion. Another five, 10 minutes, that's it, close the lid. So it's been another five minutes. We've got nice grill marks, a little bit floppy. Now we're gonna take them over our cutting board, cut our other ingredients, make our salsa. So we're gonna start by uh, just simply cutting off a fresh uh, jalapeno. I want nice jalapeno flesh, no seeds. Cut them into nice, thin, thin strips. You know, you've gotta have cilantro in a salsa. I know, I love it. Move that over into our jalapenos. Now we're gonna grab our onions. Now these are the ones we grilled off. Beautiful, beautiful grill marks. Nice and soft. Oh, this is gonna be delicious. The next item we're gonna go to is our poblanos. Slice it again. Slice it in nice little strips. Turn it around. Jalapenos tend to be quite a bit hotter than poblanos, so I tend to make the chunk size of the poblanos larger than we made the jalapenos. This salsa actually has two very distinct textures. We have some grilled items, which are a little softer, and then we have some fresh items, which are crunchier. So it's a great textured salsa. Last thing, these gorgeous big chunks of pineapple. Once again, simply cut them into strips. About half an inch thick chunk is what you want. We have a whole cutting board full of great ingredients. We're gonna put them back on our bowl and add a few final touches. Get the zest of one or two limes in there and give it a big squeeze. Last couple things, finely minced red onion. Uh, it actually does a great job of giving it a bit of a crunch and also popping up flavor. A generous pinch of salt, couple of teaspoons of canola oil, give it a stir. All right, so this is so much goodness. It is all sorts of awesome. This poblano grilled pineapple salsa goes well on everything. Um, it's great with fish, it's great with poultry, it's great with pork. Heck, you could even just eat it with chips or like by the spoonful. For more tips and tricks, make sure you subscribe to this channel because we have lots more grilling and barbecue recipes coming and they're all sorts of awesome and delicious. Life is too short for bad barbecue.